software because a lot of people are loving to see Craig. We're on Facebook Live right now. Um, so we're going to move on to, it's still um, Crafter's Companion, but it's uh, Sharon Callis. It's her line underneath them. And it's a Christmas quilt foliage die set. So this is really it's going, again, to help your items just really stand out. It's a tool to help you create those unique and then intricate, detailed, handmade cards, or maybe it's gifts. Uh, Craig will tell us, too. He was telling me on the phone when we talked. This can even help you with um, your, your wreaths or other holiday decor. So this is brand new, the only scheduled airing, and we already knocked off about $6 off the price, so $34.95, or you pay it over five months, take that flex pay, $6.99 uh, gets it home. So with this, you're getting the large poinsettia, the mistletoe bunch, a small poinsettia, and then the mistletoe. Okay, we're gonna go to Craig, and he's gonna take it away. <laughs> Right, Jill. Now, check these ones out. If you love your flowers, if you like your dimensional flowers, and you like your quilling, but sometimes you find it just a wee bit difficult to do, wait until you see these ones. Now, again, these have all been designed. These are all done by Sharon Callis. Now, she's designed all of these ones. This is her collection. It's a full world launch collection. Now, this is where you've got your die. So, if I just bring it down that way, just so we can see, you've got your die just here. But then, once it die cuts, you get that effect just there. Now, it might look a wee bit strange, and we'll show you in just in a moment. What that does is you fold it in half. No more double-sided tape, layering them up, having to quill them with lots of glue. It's all done for you. Then you get your accent dies just here. But within that poinsettia, you actually get the small one as well. So that was the largest one. Now look at that wee diddy one as well. So that makes really, really small poinsettias. So that's a really cute one too. But then, as you just got a sneak peek a moment ago, look at the mistletoe. How gorgeous is that one. Very dimensional because you can roll them up but as you can see there that is a small one that you've got but you've also got the large one as well. All along exactly the same concept. Now Shan likes to actually use these for home decor but all of them have always been net larger ones. That's why she's uh, brought in the smaller ones so you can add them to your cards as well. But I know then we've got another option as well so we can see this one here. Now these are perfect for your double sided tapes or your double sided papers, your card stocks but if you want to do them in white, so we'll see, we've got the Christmas rose just here. Again, same idea, so we've got the dies, we've then got it die cut, and then it just rolls up. So that is your small one, but then you've got the larger one as well. Now, it will go through things like your uh, materials, just maybe use a stabiliser, so you could be using it for your home decor or maybe your uh, fabric crafting. And then this is, this is a pro, again, shouldn't have favourites, but look at this pine cone as well. Now, if you like to even do your winter wreaths, your autumn wreaths, you know, changing the colours, one pass through, it gives you this effect just here, and then this is the sort of thing that actually it creates. Look at all of that detail, look how layered up it is as well, then you get all the foliage too. That's just a small one, Nicole. Look at this one, you get the large one as well. Think about all the different ways that you could be using them with it in your cart, within your uh, scrapbooking page, again, your home decor, any of your mixed media as well. Think of all these different ways that you can be using them. So many different ways. And the ones that Craig was just showing you that includes uh, the pine cones, a large and small, small pine cone. That's the Xmas Quilled Rose and Pine Cone Foliage Die Set. So there are two um, sets to choose from. So when you search that item number 089243, you can choose from the Rose and Pine Cone Foliage Die Set or the Quilled Poinsettia and Foliage Die Set, which is the one that's over here that will have those poinsettias. If you're looking more for the pines, uh, then you can pick up the other one as well. Great crafting idea for the family to bring everyone in and uh, just maybe just uh, really elevating the holiday cards, the, the keepsakes that you're making. And um, Craig, you were telling me that if people are into making holiday decor, this is also um, an opportunity to use this as well. But Craig, I need to mention, I, I almost forgot, we're busy right now and we only have about 500 left in each set. So if this is something that piques your interest, uh, get it home on the sale price, take advantage of the five flex or 699 gets it home. Uh, but yeah, we're limited, only about 500 left each. And we also have a holiday extended return, January 31st next year, you can return it. If it doesn't work out, I'm talking fast because I want Craig to show you that the, the sky is the limit. So you can do wreaths with this as well. 
you can do so much. Now, Nicole, the thing is as well, if you think about it, these sorts of things you're using year after year after year. They're never going to go out of style. You can then be changing them if you like to change your home decor each Christmas. But all that I would just do here is I would just run that through our Gemini. Again, our, our junior, our large Gemini. And this is the effect that it comes out like. So this is how it looks. Mm. So then all that you would then do, if you want to add some shape to it, like I would like to do, all that I'm just going to do is either using your ball tool or what I'm going to do is just use my fingers. I'm just pinching them just like that. So I'm just adding a bit of detail. What you need to remember is because we're going to fold this in half, you need to add the detail onto the other side as well. However, what you need to do is flip it over and then do it onto the other side. So if I then just start to shape these ones as well. And we've got lots of ideas and inspiration, you know, on our uh, Facebook as well as uh, social media. But you would just carry on going all the way around. And then what you've then done is start to shape them. I've just added a bit of gilding wax to the bottom. And then all that I'm just going to do is just fold it in half. And this is where, if you are uh, into your quilling, this is where you would have two separate parts. So you then have to get your glues or your tapes and then just start to assemble them that way. But then there we go. We have then got our uh, poinsettia that's ready to quill. So this is when I'm going to bring in my quilling tool. This one is a small one, and then I've just done exactly the same with the large one, so you can see they look the same, it's just the size that it's different. Then what I'm going to do is we're going to start from the smallest. So you've got the stamens already included as well. Nothing extra that you need to add. And I'm just going to pop my quilling tool just in. So we're just going to just feed that one just into, if we can get that just into that part just there. He says, as he tries to get that in, let's just get that quilling tool just in, just there. Let's just prise that one just apart. There we go. And then let's try that one again. Let's go right in. There we go. So we're just starting that off. It we can see just there at the base. And then all that I'm going to do is just take my uh, tacky glue. So this is just our wet tacky glue. And then all that I'm going to do is just start to roll it. And I'm just starting that off. And then all that I'm just going to do is just add just a couple of bits of glue. And I'm going to start to roll. And I'm going to keep rolling. And all that I'm going to do, I'm not adding any more glue. That was just one pass through our Gemini. I'm rolling. I'm going to keep going. I'm just holding it in place with my hands. And then as soon as I start to get to this end part just here, all that I'm just going to do is add another piece of glue. I'm just going to press that just for a few moments. And while I'm holding oh. that on, I'm just starting to oh peel all these back. Now look at that. Now look at all the layers. It's not just one size of petal that you're getting within them. You're getting your different layers. You've got your stamens as well. And what you can see within the middle just here, there's a tiny wee hole. So if you want to add your wires, anything like that, where you can then just start to maybe put some stamens or that through, I'm just going to then layer this one up. So if I was to pop that there, then all you do is bring in your poinsettias, maybe any of the other ones that you've got. And I'm just starting to layer these up within the middle, maybe a sentiment, then exactly the same way I just used. I just love that oh one. My Absolutely gosh. one of my favourites. Adding a few bits of dots on there, pop that over the top, that's all that I've done. Now oh. there we go, we're starting to get our window card, but if I bring this one in that we can see just there, and again, look at the shape and look at the dimension that you are getting from the flowers. Love it. Oh my God, that is so beautiful, Craig. Thank you so much. The poinsettia is the most popular this morning. Remember, we only have a few hundred in both. 089243. Take advantage of that sales price and take advantage of the five flex and get it home for just $7, about $6 and some change. Uh, Craig, I, my mind is blown. I, I had to pick my mouth up before the camera came back. Thank you so much for those beautiful demonstrations. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you so much as well. It's been an absolute pleasure and I am back throughout the day on Crafty. Eat to send. All right, we'll see you later then. Bye, Craig. Oh boy, I really had to pick up my mouth. Jennifer saying great.